the Rural State Civil Society Organizations would like to hear your voice, would like to know what is your position as it is right now. Is it for or against, or is this for, are you going to leave this for the politicians to do what they want to do, or are you taking a position? Well, um, our position is very clear, and our position is pro-development. Our position is pro-progress. Our position is pro-security. And that is why we have been telling all and sundry to be very, very, very careful. Because like I said earlier, what is happening in River State is not new. I have mentioned history. I have given very brief history from Modeli to today. It's not yeah. new. Okay. But one thing that is constant in all of this is that at the end of the day, people play politics at the expense of security. You just mentioned what is happening. You know, as I speak to you, for the past few days, the have have been boiling. Yeah. You know, they have been shooting and killing. You know, going on uh, at Terumola and different parts of Potako. And I speak to you, nobody is talking about the killing of a very fantastic DPU, uh, Agba King, okay. anymore. That is, I've gone to the back seat. And meanwhile, they talk about who killed him. He's even the one who is reinforced and talking on radio and saying that he's not the one. And the natural implications when political environments come like this is that Tuba will be one of the most sought after characters by any of the divides. So who loses? The people of a pair. You know, so, so that is why we always tell we always say this, that in all of this, I next should take a clear cut position to tell us that yes. But we are saying, we are saying mm. that the River State Governor should be allowed to govern River State. As at now that he's still there. If the tribunal removes him, fine. The next governor should take care of River State. But at today, Sephora is the governor of River State. We'll be holding him accountable for the resources of River State. We are saying that no godfather, nobody should interfere mm. in the governance of River State. He is currently in charge of today until the courts do otherwise. Uh, Therefore, anybody who tries to interfere with his government that is interfering with River State, and we believe this opportunity to call on the Commissioner of Police in River State to display a high level of neutrality and stop taking sides with anybody. The only person that has constitutional immunity in River State as of today is similar to Therefore, the police should liaise with it to protect life and property in because the political, crisis, the political crisis is taking, is putting government at the back seat and putting crisis, violence, insurrection, you know, and atrocious killings in the front seat. The Commission of Police should liaise with, with the governor of River State to make sure they protect life and property. Right. The governor of River State should equally bring on this out pro people's policy. We, our problem is not all about fighting. Fighting will not bring progress. We don't bring skill acquisition, what my colleague is talking about. We don't bring, I would, and I speak to you now, almost all the sensitive boards in River State is down. ROTC is not functioning, it's down. Um, the post-primary school's board, that's secondary school, does not have a board. We are calling the government to set up the board, and it's not functioning. I will speak to you, the local government civil service commission does not have a board for the past four years. Who does that? Mm. We are calling on the River State governor to set up the board. We are asking that all the moribund industries like, like the glass industry and several other industries that are moribund should be, should be brought back to life. We are saying that you should begin to uh, make sure that uh, uh, tech, programs on tech, agriculture, housing, beyond rhetorics, beyond rhetorics, we want to see the housing scheme come to life. We right. want to see uh, other critical sectors come to life. Just right. so, just so that we would find ourselves in a situation where during the last eight years of uh, the former governor of River State, there was no empowerment. When I mean empowerment, I'm talking about empowering cronies. I'm talking about a well-structured empowerment in the state. Whether you are a politician or not, you are empowered as not in River State. So right. since that doing this. For the past eight years, we didn't get any from the former former governor. It, it increased poverty and our poverty in debt according to NBS was terrible. All right. Terrible and, 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 and that and that cannot bring human proof. All right, a quick one, Barry Simanke, so we can move on because right. we're still in River State. Now the CSO uh, is calling for for elect a by election in fourteen days. Realistically speaking and legally, how 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 real is this? Well the only question or my challenge that I have there is this. Um, when you target to protect life in the wild, I talk about carnivorous environment, and then you make Ego the chairman, Kite the secretary, 
and you are targeting that, the activity should not go on. The result is predictable. I didn't go to Panya. I think all of us here were here. This is a defining year. I think the hope of several millions of Nigerians got dashed this year, electorally speaking. Okay, but on, right? on, on this particular I'm coming issue to right it. now, yes. it is IMA that we handle it. So is this, is, is legal for that, them to yes, make this demand? Yes. It is possible. Yes, so it's if, possible. If I may concede to this, it means that in the next 14 days, we could see there's a possibility that will be election to take over those seats. Now, the danger you are finding is, is this. Okay. In the light of the way law is being used in Nigeria now. Mm. See, let me say this to you. The end purpose of law is supposed to be justice. I'm sorry to say that I'm using the word supposed to be justice. But I also can comfortably tell you that law can also be manipulatively and or manipulatively used as instrument of oppression, suppression, and repression. All right. So Once law we'll is used for these three purposes, mm. which seem to be the case in Nigeria, you will see where the road is, what the law says, where we are supposed to go, and you see people taking a complete departure. So let's wait. Is it not the, the IMA chairman? All right. He is calling everywhere and saying that the property should be done. Now, like, I, let me say this very clearly to you. The state of the law touching election in Nigeria as it is now, we are back 10 years beyond right. the, uh, what do you call it, um, um, electoral reform era. That is where we are. 